So we have the motor in the truck now. So we should be able to be turning on low voltage here probably in the next hour. Hey, did you see that I got that bracket mounted on there and painted and welded? But Still, it's like it's crooked as shit. Ew. It's like, yeah. Why is it crooked? Because then you can only check it when it's on a little bit of a hill. These are, these guys always park on these always, You never notice the bottom one's flipped too. Is it? Yep. Yeah. No. Did you see the screen in there? Uh -uh. No, it looks pretty dope. We've got a bunch of the uh, electronics done in this vehicle now. We've got the dash in and it's on the Ford CAN bus as well as the, the drivetrain CAN bus. We've put our keyboard in here for being able to switch, park, reverse, neutral drive, etc. Um, I think that look came out rather nice. And the dash, we're picking up all the CAN bus messages Ford is, is sending. Um, so that's been a fair bit of reversing work, but now when you hit the signals, it signals as you would expect it to. When you hit high beams, it updates the way you expect it to. Shift to four wheel drive, it updates, etc. Press the park brake, all that's coming off the CAN bus. So that was a fair bit of CAN bus reversing work, but uh, we're happy with how it turned out. Uh, and then just for us, as we want to do vehicle diagnostics, we grabbed one of the steering wheel buttons to bring up the diagnostic screen with all the various details. So. Uh, we're pretty happy with how vehicle integration is going so far. So on the dash, um, you might have noticed the dash in front of me. It looks fairly OE. Essentially this dash would have had a tachometer and a speedometer on each side. What we've done is we've pulled, pulled the dash apart. We've taken that plate out that would have had those gauges in it. We've just cut a nice little plate, branded it with uh, the customer and with Hypercraft and then put an AEM display in the middle. So that way it, it all looks pretty factory uh, and all the information exactly where you expect to see it. Justin, I can't stop looking at your ass, by the way. Is this day four? Yeah. Friday? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. So this is day number four. We have yeah, whatever. all of our low voltage stuff plugged in. We're, we're talking, shush! <laughs> so we have all of our low voltage stuff plugged in. Uh, everything is talking, everything's happy. Um, the only thing we don't have low voltage plugged in is the inverter, which we have on the table here. We're gonna flash that um, with the latest firmware and get all EEPROM settings set up. Right now we're working on high voltage, so we've got our phase cables for our motor. We've got our batteries kind of dummy sit how we're, they're going to be in the uh, in the truck. So right now we're just testing, make sure all the contactors close in each pack so that they all do. So that's good. We have communication with the BMS. The BMS is happy. It's talking. So now we're going to make our links that run all these batteries in series, make our cables that go from here to our HVJV, which is going to be mounted on the side, and then. We make the cables from the HVJV to the inverter, which will be on this side. Then we do the high voltage cables from the inverter to the motor. And hoping to be spinning some wheels this afternoon in a few hours. So yeah, it should be fun. It's going very, very, it's going very well. Knock on wood, everything is going well so far. Next week our plan is to spend Monday, Tuesday doing our thermals. So all the plumbing for the radiator, batteries, um, inverter get all that stuff plumbed up and then Wednesday be road testing and then the customer will be here Friday to uh, come look at the car so hopefully we'll have a day or two of driving it by the time he gets here. Do you want to explain to the people who don't know what the Y, V, W, X, and there's Z too, right? Why? Is there oh, a... Is this oh. a y? Um, when I'm talking about the, like we have a V key, what do you say, this one has a W, these are Ys, these are X, so because these are the same connectors, they're keyed, so you can't plug an X into a Y, it just won't plug in. Um, it's just basically, Indicating, like separating the, the, 
It's making it safe. So you can't screw it up. All right, we are here at, I think, day five. As you can see, battery stack is in. We're just mounting up our accessories. We've got the inverter on this side, OBC on the back. We have our HVJBs going here. We got our heater kind of just sitting in the space there. Um, the interior is pretty much done. Harnessing's all done in there. Harnessing's all done out here. Power string pumps in. We're just putting in our high voltage cables that we already made. Um, it's about eight o'clock at night right now. We're just trying to get everything bolted in. Um, so that way, first thing in the morning, we can do a complete startup of the actual batteries that we have with this um because we had just test batteries just to get wheel spinning and all that so now we have the actual batteries in it everything's mounted up all of our pmu configurations are done screen configurations are done we just have to test our ac and heater uh configurations and logic that brian's been building all day and yesterday so hopefully that all works out good um but yeah hopefully to get this thing road testing maybe tomorrow if we get some thermals we're going to need some cooling in the inverter first before we start driving it but tomorrow's going to be focus is thermals and bringing the whole system up and getting everything working together. So yeah, it's going relatively smoothly. Stay tuned.